Right, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, create a distorted wavy uh, text in Illustrator and Photoshop. So this first one right here, this is just using the basic like uh, warp, plucker, and twirl tool. Uh, this one I was just using the warp. But that's like the first method of like creating like a wavy text and that's only in Illustrator. And then the next one is using a displaced uh, texture effect to create the distorted text in Photoshop. So we'll start out with the Illustrator one just because it's a lot simpler. So create your text, let's use that. Um, keep it like a simple text, uh, nothing too already distorted because if you're distorting it then it might just look bad. Uh, then do Command Shift O to create an outline or go to Type create outlines. So this just makes you able to edit your text. Uh, and then go to the warp tool and then double click it. And yours will probably start out around like 100 width, 100 height. And I would move that down to around 50 at first. And then intensity, you can kind of just mess with all these different settings. There's no right or wrong answer. Um, just making it smaller width and height wise might give you more of what you're looking for rather than like 100 to like 200, but it just matters what you want. You kind of get like this wavy text. If you want to do it like up there, or if you want to use the so when you edit your setting for one tool, it'll go to all your tools, so they'll already be at what you want, which is nice. you can kind of create something cool like that's kind of cool different unique and then you can just go in and like move these letters closer together uh not that you don't want that all right screw that but yeah, you can move them closer together or uh just like whatever you want pretty much and that's pretty much how you just do it in illustrator it's pretty simple pretty straightforward uh yeah, like, pretty simple to create these fonts, and they're unique. Um, you can't just go online and pick them out, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so now I'll show you the Photoshop way, which is create a new file in Illustrator, uh, and create a black rectangle, then go to Effect, Stylize, and then go to Scribble, uh, Preview, so that's the default. So all these are just like vector lines, vector patterns. Uh, hint the scribble. And so you can kind of just go into all of these. Um, doesn't matter which one you choose. I would stay away from like that uh, for obvious reasons. Um, and that. I think zigzag is pretty good. Uh, uh, default I like too. Because that kind of creates like a slice within your text. So it looks pretty good. And I would stay away from these two. Uh, curviness you can change. Uh, variation. Yeah, so I like that. So you can just mess with this again for like hours on end, uh, figuring out what you like uh, pattern wise with your vector. And so hit OK and just save this as a PNG or JPEG. Uh, so once you have that, go into Photoshop and then just drop that into Photoshop. And so this is like the only like really extra step you have to do is so you have your image and go to save as and you have to save it as a PSD because the displacement effect in Photoshop doesn't take uh, doesn't take any file format other than a Photoshop file. So to save that and then go create a new thing. New. Oh. Uh page all right so once you have this just create your text again just, uh, all right that trendy shit
save your text, go to filter, display, distort, go to filter, distort, displace, and then yeah, convert it to a smart object. And so yours will probably start out around either 100 or, I think it's 100. Uh, I was messing with this beforehand. So yeah, I'll go 50. Um, so 100 will really distort it. Um, but again, you can just mess with this for hours. Uh, that's like the whole kind of point of this, just to do a quick tutorial and then you can kind of just keep building off of it because if I were to just sit here and just keep messing, messing, messing with it, uh, like this would be like a five hour long video and no one wants that. All right, so open your saved PSD file to it and you kind of get like this cool, so I did 50, so it's gonna be farther away from the text, the, 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 dis, uh, the displacement. But that's just using your vectored lines that you made in Illustrator, and then it just applies it to the text like that. And so that was 50, so uh, let's do, let's do, So we'll do big and then I'll just show you what it's like if it's a bit smaller. So you get kind of something pretty cool, like a glitch text. Like you get these like, like that's coming out of there. Uh, it's kind of like, a, there's this font called Glass. Which I would recommend, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but it creates like a pretty clean uh, distorted text like that. And so, uh, this is more kind of like raw, this is pretty clean. Um, if you want a tutorial on how to really get it to be like this clean, I can also do that. But this was to get like a distorted, kind of like uh, raw text that would look cool on posters or like album covers, whatever you plan to use this for. Uh, but yeah, that's how you create distorted texts or displaced text or wavy text or whatever kind of your own text, uh, but yeah, uh, pretty simple. I'll I have a PDF in the description of like different steps, like if you got lost uh, during this. Um, but yeah, so just remember Illustrator, save it as a PNG, then Photoshop, save it as a PSD, and then open up Photoshop, put your text, do displays, take your PSD, and apply it to your text. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, in the future, for like next videos, I'm gonna do, uh, I'll get questions about like graffiti and like lettering and stuff. Like I have that, like, so like lettering like that. Um, or, all right. Kind of like lettering like this.